We're excited to announce that with Core OS 3.1.0, Fortin Nameless Suite X is now compatible with Quad Cortex. So let's take a look at each of these devices, starting with the plug-in gate. And this is set to minus 70, but I'll leave this disengaged for now and move on to the transpose. And I'm going to engage this and drop it down four semitones. Let's hear how that sounds. Next, let's move on to the Fortin Zool. This is the gate designed by Fortin to keep aggressive rhythm sounds nice and tight and free of noise. If I bypassed it, here's how it would sound. So for now, I'm going to leave it engaged at the default setting of 3.5. Next, let's move on to the Fortin hex drive. If I engage this, here's how it sounds with those current settings. Next up is the Fortin Grind. This is a great always-on pedal that just adds that aggression into the front end of the amp. To hear what it's adding, I'm first going to bypass it. And here's how it sounds re-engaged. So you can hear there, it's shaping the character of our sound really nicely. For that example, it was great to have the hex drive engaged, but for now, I'm gonna bypass it and move on to the Fortin Nameless amp. Here's how it sounds with all of the default settings. As you can see, we have all the same control over this ferocious metal amplifier as we do in the plugin. It sounds great out of the box, so let's move on. Next, we move on to the nameless cab that's available in both mono and stereo versions. And we have all of the same studio level control over the cab as we do in the plugin. The next block in the signal chain is the EQ. Here we have the nine band graphic EQ, along with the high and low pass filters and a master output on the second page. Next, we have the plugin doubler. This allows us to have a double tracked guitar effect by delaying one of the sides in the stereo image. Here's how it sounds. For now, I'm going to disengage this and move on to the nameless delay. Here's how it sounds with all of its default settings. I'll bypass this and move on to the final block in the signal chain, the nameless reverb. Here's how it sounds engaged with all of its default settings. And there you have it. That's the Fortin Nameless Suite X running natively on Quad Cortex. For more information about CoreOS and Quad Cortex, head on over to neuraldsp.com. I'm John Connor. Thanks for watching.